five tips to mentally and emotionally preparing yourself for a YouTube channel. Hey guys, and welcome to Chef Shara's Creative Kitchen. So I'm actually out of the kitchen right now, but you know, it's still a whole kitchen vibe going on when I'm around. So anyways, I just wanted to come to you guys with a quick video vlog about starting a YouTube channel, how to emotionally prepare yourself for such. Decide what it is that you want to convey to your audience and really just kind of dig deep and like, what is it, what is it that you want to share about yourself? I know that some people start a YouTube video out of novelty or for comedy, but you, if you're starting a YouTube video that is a lifestyle or you're, you want to teach somebody how to do something, you know, just uh, dig deep and figure out what are you passionate about showing or conveying to your audience and i think that's one of the really first steps i know that sometimes people say niche down i personally do not believe in niching down because i think that we are all so unique and we have so much different vibrant and awesome things to show so if you have a youtube channel where you want to talk about cooking and then one day you want to talk about fashion i think that you have to decide if that's the right thing for you if you want to show people a different array of things about yourself it totally works so number two i would say be confident be confident that you, your video will be okay, that once you put it up, don't judge it too harshly, don't worry about what other people think about it. Um, just be confident, you know, like this is what I wanna show people. I don't have to be perfect, but this is who I am when I'm in that confident, you know, fierce state of mind and just put the video out there. And, you know, even if five or six people just watch your video, five or six people got to see who you really were and you got to share with someone. It's not every day that we get to sit down with 10 people and share our gift with them. So even 10 people matter. So I say, be confident, put it out there. Don't worry about it afterwards and just hope that it reaches someone who can really resonate with it. Number three, I say, be prepared for the hate. Now I say, be prepared for the hate. Not to accept the hate, but to be prepared for it because it will come your way because some people are just nasty and they're annoying and disgusting and they don't think that um, online interactions are real. They don't think that the people behind the camera are real. They're living in some kind of far off world where they think it's okay to say whatever they want to people. So I say be prepared for the hate. Um, decide how you are going to respond to negative people. Make a plan ahead of time so that you don't um, go out of character because someone is super nasty. Now I'm not saying that you're wrong for getting angry or you're wrong for feeling upset, but just make a plan of how you're gonna to respond to that. Are you going to immediately block this person? Are you gonna delete their comments? Do you have a response written up that you can reply back to them with that kind of deactivates that hatred and also shows your followers that like you're just not for it? So maybe you wanna script up something that says, hey, thanks for giving me a comment and a view. And that's what I normally do. So on my TikTok channel or YouTube, when someone gets you know nasty or something, Sometimes I may be a little spicy, which is okay because that's my personality. And other times I may say, hey, you just gave me a view and you gave me a comment. And guess what? The algorithm loves more than that. <laughs> the algorithm loves it. They don't care that you said you hated my food or that you hated my video. All they know is that you commented and you viewed it and that is rising me to the top. So let those haters be and just be prepared for it don't think it's not coming even if you're the sweetest kindest person on tiktok please just be prepared for the hate because it will come your way and number four is don't give up okay i know it's super cliche i know but do not give up and please do not look at other content creators and say oh my god they surpassed me an x amount of time okay sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to why someone shoots to the top sometimes it makes no sense but you are you and what you were doing is unique to who you are regardless of how many other people have the same idea or are doing sort of the same thing it is still unique when it comes from you because you are your own individual person so i say that to say do not give up there are people who have spent their entire life working on just one thing they were passionate about and they didn't give up and it happened. So as long as you are passionate about it, as long as you are fierce and determined, and as long as you are willing to do whatever it takes to get where you need to be within reason, <laughs> you will have the success that you want. It's number five, do not allow other people to dictate your success. Your success 
looks like you doing better than you did yesterday. You making a better video than you made this morning or last night or last week. You advancing your YouTube channel better than you were a month ago. You making better edits, better designs, better cuts, whatever, because it's going to look crazy to you in the beginning because you're learning and growing at the same time so if you keep going you're gonna be like oh my god look at where i was then and look at where i am now so i have um I, i'd say moderate success on tiktok and i look back at my very first tiktoks and i'm like what were you doing what were you doing you didn't understand the culture you didn't understand what how to put the videos up you didn't understand how to hashtag the videos you didn't understand how to do anything and now we fast forward just in a short period of time and i feel like i'm like kind of grooving it now right but there's still always so much more to learn but just like don't get down on yourself saying oh my god my videos don't look like this person's videos because to someone else, your videos probably look amazing. And you are going to keep growing, you're going to keep learning, and you're going to keep persevering. So that's the only thing that matters. So guys, go out there and slay. And I hope you take this positive message with you to keep going no matter what. And whatever you do, even if it's not a YouTube video, you're going to be amazing at it because you're not going to give up. You're not going to let the haters stop you. You're going to persevere and you're going to be your own unique, beautiful, wonderful self while doing it. And you know, don't forget to like, share, comment, all of that stuff. Y'all know what it is that I need you to do to, to help me keep growing. So go ahead and do all of that stuff for your girl. Thank you.